What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode one of Drive and Ride with me, Ryan. So being episode one, I just want to say hello and welcome to the channel. And also, this video is really just going to be a really short introduction to me and what I plan to basically share on the channel. So today, I'm in my lovely new, well, not brand new, um, but my BMW M4, which I plan to share plenty of content on over the coming months, probably years. Who knows how long I'm going to keep it. But with the channel Drive and Ride, I want to share motorbike content as well. And I also own a Kawasaki Z1000, which I plan to share and shoot some content on. Now, the weather being December is pretty rubbish right now. So as soon as it gets a little bit warmer, a bit drier out on the roads, uh, I will definitely be out on the bike and sharing some content, showing you a few mods that I've done on, on the Z1000. Um, some really simple mods, to be, to be fair. But my main focus really right now is with the M4. I've already done a couple of modifications to it. Those that know about BMWs, they're, 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 they're simple modifications that we, we all do at the start, really. Um, us BMW fanboys, should we say. But I'm going to leave that for another video uh, where I'm going to talk about all the modifications or the, the few modifications that I've done to it so far. Um, BMW fanboys, as soon as you see the video, um, or the walk around of the car, uh, you'll notice what I've done to the car already. Uh, simple little mods just to make it look better. How it should really come out of the factory, uh, in my opinion. So, as per usual, please uh, like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Let's try and build it up. Uh, obviously, that'll help me out. Um, but let's get into the video shall we and let's give you a little walk around of the m4 
down the sides. These little love handle bits, you can adjust them so they really suck you into the seat. Um, just really, really comfy. Um, I've done two hour drives, three hour drives in this and no backache that you can sometimes get um, in other cars. So uh, really, really comfy seats. The little carbon fiber touches inside the car as well. You've got carbon fiber here down by the instruments and you've got carbon fiber literally just here below the, below the foam. Uh, and obviously around the, the vents as well here. Uh, so just little touches of carbon fiber inside the car and you'll probably know and you're fully aware that you can go carbon fiber crazy on these cars. You can get the paddles changed here on the steering wheel. You can get a nice carbon fiber gear knob, if you want to call it a gear knob. Even the housing here you can change uh, I think you can get carbon fiber handles on the door. You can you can go absolutely mental with the carbon fiber, and it's cool. It looks nice, but it's not for me. I'm not really that fussed in spending a few hundred quid on just mate. I might get the paddles done. That would be cool, but I'm not fussed about the gear knob and stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the inside. It's pretty, the BMWs aren't flashy inside like Mercedes. When you step into a Mercedes, you've just got that extra bit of luxury. Um, my missus had a Mercedes GLA last and a uh, really nice car inside. Really, really nice, but BMW standard. Um, first time ever having like paddles. Uh, for me personally, and I really like it. I try to drive with the paddles as much as possible and then obviously sticking it in automatic um, for just day-to-day -day driving, but the sequen sequential gearbox I really like. Um, and then the settings. Let's just touch on the settings as well because you've got three driving settings or three driving modes in the car, you've got efficient, which supposedly uh, helps with um, fuel. It mainly just makes the throttle less responsive, um, and you just can't. Well, you're not getting all the power through all the electronics underneath the bonnet. You then got sport mode, which basically opens up the valve in the exhaust. Uh, you get a little bit more throttle response, and then you've got sport plus, which yeah, I've got in now. And Sport Plus is obviously full hooligan mode, uh, which I drive around mainly. I don't really drive around in sport mode. It's either efficient, if I'm just bombing around town or long journeys, or I'm in Sport Plus. Because I think if you're gonna have a car like this, like use it, like drive it the way it's supposed to be driven. Sticking to the speed limits, of course. But the only downside, to Sport Plus is if you are bombing around town in those lower gears like one and two these things tend to kangaroo a little bit and it's I can only put it down to just where you've got all that power like 420 brake and it just wants to go so if you're just sort of feathering feathering the throttle it sort of goes woof, 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 and it kangaroos and then you end up looking like a bit of a dick if you're at a roundabout and you've got this nice big car and you're like <laughs> but it, it just wants to go and that's that's the only downside really i found with the car since having it um i've had the car now maybe four or five months uh it's 2014 so i think that classes it as a gen one well, is it Gen 1? We wouldn't even say Gen 1. It's the F82 uh, M4. It was the first one of the of the F82. I'm sure I'm correct on that. Um, so, yeah, 2014. When I bought it, it done 45,000 miles. I've done 49, nearly 50,000 miles. It's nearly due a service. Um, but, yeah, that's it.
So that is basically it for today. Welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe, like I said at the start. Um, I'm gonna say bye now and just leave you with a little time lapse of me bombing around some B roads. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. If you didn't like it, if you thought it was rubbish, or probably don't actually, that'll break my heart. So give us a thumbs up and I will see you for the next video, episode two. Later.